CEO Money is sponsored by WF News One Incorporated. Views and opinions heard on CEO Money are not necessarily the opinion of this station or its management. Material on this program is intended for general information only and should not be taken as specific investment, tax, or legal advice. Welcome to CEO Money with your hosts, Michael Yorba and Mervyn Price, interviewing private and publicly traded industry titans. It's a fast-paced show focusing on CEO achievement stories, industry breakthroughs, disruptive technology, and emerging growth companies. CEO Money keeps you ahead of the curve on private and public equity trends you can't get anywhere else. We deliver tomorrow's trade today. And now, here's your hosts, Michael Yorba and Mervyn Price. Welcome to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba, your host, and Mervyn Price, my guest. Mervyn, welcome back to the show. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, we are on Wednesday. Uh, we talk about natural resources, and today we've got uh, Alex Kleiman, Chairman, CEO of Nexus Gold Corp., on the show with us today. Uh, Alex, welcome to the show. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get Alex. Are you there? For some reason, we're not we're not getting Alex on the show right now. All right, Merv, let's get into um, what we're going to talk about with Alex. Uh, we're going to talk about the gold price, uh, what he thinks is going to happen with the markets. We're going to talk about uh, their exploration, their development strategy, management expertise, and uh, company projects. So, a little background on uh, Mr. Kleinman. He brings over twenty five years of. I can hear him. Yeah. Okay, good. Alex, are you there? Can you hear us now? I am. Yeah, hi, guys. Wonderful. We couldn't connect with a couple of technical difficulties on the Shakedown Cruise Week. All right, Alex, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you having me. Thanks so much. My pleasure. I was about to get uh, some background on you to uh, uh, to give the the segment a little flavor. Let me back up a little bit and give you a chance to uh, uh, to give us some background on you, and then let's, let's get into... Uh, what Nexus Gold Corp does. Sure. Sure. Well, my background is uh, I come from uh, a media background, but I've really been in corporate finance for about a decade, and, and a lot of that having to do with uh, public companies uh, listed on the TSX Venture Exchange, mostly uh, resource based companies. So I'm very familiar with the space gold, silver, uranium, these types of companies. And uh, uh, we've cobbled together quite a management team, and uh, I happen to be the chairman, but it's really an equal equal opportunity situation with my business partner, Peter. Peter Berdusco, he's the president and CEO, and our, our lead ge- uh, geologist, uh, Warren Robb. All right. Uh, we were going to start off with your thoughts on, first, before we even get the symbol on your company. NXXGF on the OTC. Okay. You wanted to start off talking about the gold market. Uh, obviously, you're, you're a gold mining company, and you know, you've know you got your ear to the ground, not only with natural resources and, and where you're getting the metal, but also the price. Let me, let me open that up for you. Yeah, no, I think uh, for those of us watching the sector, you know, we've gone through, we've been beaten badly over the last, you know, five, six years, but we've had some hints that, that things are turning, and, and there are a lot of factors, obviously. I mean, we have a lot of geopolitical risk. Gold is typically seen as a safe haven. Uh, there's a lot of issues with currencies right now. The U.S. dollar seems to be on a bit of a decline. If that continues into 2018, these are usually positive things for gold. Um, a lot of factors, and there are, there are other factors, but there's enough to tell us that we're heading into, uh, we believe, a bull market for, for gold and, and gold stocks. And when, those, when we do get those bull markets, they're, um, you want to be in on them. They're, uh, they're exceptional. Um, there's a lot of money to be made. Uh, and if this is the beginning of, say, a four- or five-year bull cycle, well, uh, now's a good time to be involved. Do, uh, do you have ideas of where we might be headed in, in terms of Well, pricing? yeah, you know, the prediction business is always a, a risky one. But, but uh, we do have people telling us uh, we can expect $1,300, $1,400 gold within the next few months. Um, some people are saying within the next month we could touch 1400 That's a bit optimistic. I wouldn't doubt it with some of the things we're seeing globally. Uh, but I would tend to say really heading into April of 2018, uh, that's that's probably when we're really going to start to see the, the big push. And, and, yeah, you know, a $1,400 gold price would, would, would be real nice to see. Why? 
Well, you know, for us, uh, a lot of the companies that that are in this business really. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not for us to to make money to increase uh, bottom line. We're we're profitable at this at this level. Uh, I mean, most of the gold coming out of the where we're active is, you know, somewhere around seven hundred dollars or so in the uh, an ounce in the ground. So we're profitable. But but what happens is when that gold gold becomes the flavor of the day becomes favorable to you know a, a wider audience when when the gold price is is you know thirteen fourteen fifteen hundred it it's it's a positive situation the herd tends to move as a group and when gold is strong the the herd mentality comes into gold and gold stocks uh, and then of course if you've got the geopolitical risks you know North Korea Iran the things that are going on globally that also tends to play favorably into to a gold price. I mean, more demand. Uh, it's a supply and demand situation. You know, China is loading up on gold. Russia is loading up on gold. Uh, some of the currencies in the in the world are 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 starting to go use the, sort of being backed by gold, if you will, the gold standard. So we think uh, this is all positive for our sector over the next little while. What about your development strategy? Yeah, well, you know, we're a small cap company. We're, uh, but we think we've, we're on the right track. And what we we see ourselves as being a preeminent gold explorer in West Africa. Uh, West Africa is a great place to work. There's a, there's a lot of uh, undeveloped land. Uh, it's easy to get to if you have the right crews. Uh, it's economic. Um, there are politically stable environments over there. We're in Burkina Faso. That's one of the better places to be. Uh, for us, we want to acquire properties, add to a portfolio, and then work multiple properties. That spreads risk out and also provides for uh, multiple avenues for for return. So we're not a you know all in on 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 one property type company, and that uh, it's a bad strategy we think. And so we're uh, we're in the process of acquiring additional properties. We have two active properties we're adding to that this fall we'll be announcing some of those additions uh, and we're active one of the things about nexus is we're a very very active company um, we've been working steadily since january on our properties we've done multiple drill programs trenching programs sampling programs uh and it and it you know the active companies is what provides uh, opportunity for catalysts and catalysts is where you see stocks uh, tend to tend to move on those catalysts so we we're uh, we think our plan is a good one and our strategy is sound okay hello it's Mervyn here alex um hi there hi there P- provide us with a little overview of the management who are behind nexus Right. Well, myself uh, and Peter, we uh, formed the company uh, right around 2010, 2011 as a private company. We had a Nevada project that we we embarked on as a private company, and uh, we went public in in uh, 2014 with that and became Nexus Gold. Uh, Pete and I really run the show. Um, our uh, CFO, Mike Kinley, is a longtime uh, public markets uh, professional. Our lead Geologist, our senior geo is Warren Robb. He's got a ton of experience and is very um, has, has a history of success, particularly in Burkina Faso, where he's been involved with discoveries and uh, major mine operations. So uh, between you know the group that we have, we're well well established and, and well set up. We've all been through the wars. We've all seen the ups and downs. Uh, experience gives you perspective uh, you don't step in too many potholes you've already stepped in if you've if you've been through it so uh, we have the experience we have the success we've been able to raise money we're active we know uh, what the the overall long-term plan is and uh, we hit our milestones Alex uh, we've got two minutes left in this and I want to cover some more ground if we can sure. uh, your stock just went through the roof give our audience a tell uh, you know a, a, an indication of what happened to it and why yeah, well, it was the perfect storm. Uh, if the gold market is favorable and you put out good results in a favorable market, good things can happen, and that's what happened in January. We had made a discovery. Warren had made a discovery on one of our properties. Uh, we took that announcement to market, and the stock went from about eight cents up to about thirty, thirty-five, thirty-six cents Canadian. So about twenty-six, twenty-seven uh, U.S. Uh, on pretty massive volumes, three, four, five million shares a day. This went on for two, three months. Uh, all of our early investors saw great returns. Uh, since then, the stock has tailed off. 
uh, to sort of come back to earth, if you will. Uh, but these things go in cycles. The gold price has been depressed until recently, and, and we think we're just setting up nicely here for the fall. Um, the, you know, it's, it's a question of bringing good results to the market. We're, ha- we're active marketers, so we continuously try to bring new people uh, to Nexus Gold, and uh, that's, uh, I think, part of uh, why we were successful in January. We had a lot of eyeballs on us, and we were able to deliver some results uh, accordingly. All right. That, that's going to wrap it up for us today, Alex, but uh, real quick, contact information for you for Nexus Gold. Sure. You can call, e- email us at info at nexusgoldcorp.com. Uh, visit nexusgoldcorp.com, the website. We have all our information there, and we're active on social media, on Twitter and Facebook, so you can follow us there. But I uh, encourage anybody with questions to inquire and uh, hit us up, and we'll get right back to you. Thank you, Alex, for being on the show. Wish you continued success. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Alex Kleiman, Chairman, Chief Operating Officer, Nexus Gold Corp. Symbol, NXXGF. Stick around. We'll be right back on the other side of this break with Ryan White. Excuse me. Right. Big Tree Capital Ventures. <laughs> 